Welcome to this podcast, Grace for All, produced by members of First United Methodist Church in Maryville, Tennessee. It is our hope that these brief daily devotions will bring you comfort and peace. Thank you for listening. Today's devotion is written by Pat Scruggs and read by Sally Stovall. Our scripture today is from Philippians, the fourth chapter, the sixth verse. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. I was fortunate to spend the last nine years of my career in education as a literacy specialist in the district office of Williamson County Schools in Franklin, Tennessee. We also lived in Franklin, not far from an entrance onto I-65. I was often asked to attend meetings, trainings, and conferences in either Nashville or Murfreesboro, both a 30- to 40-minute drive via I-65 under normal circumstances. Unfortunately, the circumstances were rarely normal. The problem was not getting onto the interstate. The problem was making progress once on the interstate. Many mornings, although I left well before 7 a.m. to make an 8 a.m. meeting, I found myself at a complete stop while emergency vehicles raced by, going either north or south, and I, along with hundreds of other busy commuters and travelers, sat stewing in my vehicle, worrying about being late for this or that very important, at least in my mind, appointment. One day, I was apologizing to the person leading the meeting when I finally got there about 20 minutes late and explaining the circumstances. She could see I was frustrated and still aggravated about my tardy arrival. Instead of commiserating with me and sharing her traffic horror stories, she surprised me by saying, What I do when I'm held up in traffic like that is pray for those involved in the accident and the first responders caring for them. Pray? I was frustrated and worried about missing the meeting and anxious for traffic to start moving. I was not in the mood to pray. However, the more I thought about it, I realized that my anger, anxiety, and frustration were doing nothing to help the situation. I realized that however my day had been altered, it was nothing compared to the serious injuries or worse of the victims and that the first responders were endangering themselves trying to help those who had been in the accident. I felt ashamed of myself for making a horrible situation for others all about me and my misplaced values. Yes, my work was important, but nothing is more important than a human being's life. From that day forward, I have practiced what she taught me. When I find myself caught in a traffic delay, I pray for those involved in the accident, for God's comfort and reassurance for them and their loved ones, and for the first responders that they will be able to use their knowledge and training to help those victims and remain safe themselves. I thank God that there are those willing to help in tragic and difficult circumstances. Yes, I may still be late for my intended destination, but I am calm instead of anxious and focused on others instead of myself, and I thank God for my safe arrival too. As this verse teaches us, In every situation, present your request to God. Let us pray. Our Heavenly Father, thank you for the reminder that our human feelings and failings can best be managed by talking with you about them. Help us stay focused on others rather than ourselves, and let us do whatever we can to serve those individuals who are in distress. Thank you for the angels among us who risk their own lives every day to save the lives of others. Amen. Thank you for joining us for today's podcast. I'm Rev. Sarah Slack, Associate Pastor at First United Methodist Church in Maryville, Tennessee. Our church is a vital, vibrant congregation, sharing the love of Jesus Christ to our community and to God's world. This podcast was written and produced by the people of our congregation. 
To know more about this ministry or other ministries of our church, please visit our website at firstchurch.org. That's the number one, S-T, church.org. Join us again for the next episode. And until then, bear witness to the love of God in this world so that those to whom love is a stranger will find in you most generous friends.